Right now at 4.30, all eyes are on South Carolina as the Palmetto State gears up for a major Republican primary contest. It's former President Donald Trump versus former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. Trump looking to wrap up his path to the nomination, while Haley is hoping that her home state will show out enough to keep her campaign alive. Green City News is your local election headquarters with just a little more than 12 hours to go until the polls open. Our Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt is on the ground in Charleston for us this afternoon with the latest from the campaign trail. And Hannah, what are the two candidates doing in these last few hours before Election Day? Well, Brian, Annie, both Donald Trump and Nikki Haley are using these final hours ahead of the primary to make their election pitches to South Carolina voters and to ramp up their attacks on each other. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is hoping for an upset in her home state. This is the time South Carolina can really step up and show the direction that we want our country to go in. Haley is trailing former President Donald Trump by a wide margin in the polls and Trump is already declaring victory. Nikki Haley is losing to me. It looks like she's going to lose by 25 or 30 points. That's a lot. But Haley argues it's too soon to counter out of the race. We don't anoint kings in America. We have elections. South Carolinians deserve the right to vote. And she's trying to convince Republicans that she's the best candidate to beat President Joe Biden in November. Donald Trump can't win a general election. But Trump accuses Haley of hurting the Republican Party by staying in the race and says this is a time for Republicans to unite around him so they can defeat Democrats in the general election. She's not doing well and we can't let it happen. You know, it's uh, we have to stick together. And even if Haley loses to Trump as expected tomorrow, she says she's not dropping out of this race. Brian, Annie, back to you. So, Hannah, if Trump really dominates in South Carolina tomorrow, could we see Haley change her mind and just end up dropping out? Well, that's always a possibility, but Haley's team tells us that they've already started to assemble their campaign teams in the states that have primaries after South Carolina. They also say they've committed seven figures to a national ad buy. Both of those are signs that they're planning for a future in this race. Yeah, and Haley still raising a lot of money for her campaign. Hannah Brandt live for us in South Carolina tonight. Well, Trump himself is in our neck of the woods as we speak. This is a live look down in Rock Hill where the former president is speaking to supporters at Winthrop University. He just came out onto the stage after an introduction from South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster. After this rally, he is scheduled to speak at another event in Columbia later on tonight. Trump's full remarks once he starts speaking will be streamed on our website, qcnews.com. And you, you can watch the primary results with us on Queen City News tomorrow night. I'll be here with Queen City News anchor Alicia Barnes and our chief legal correspondent, Khalif Rhodes. That's tomorrow night after college basketball. Well, the fact that Nikki Haley is still in the race has garnered some criticism from her own party, with many saying that Donald Trump has wrapped up the nomination. As Hannah mentioned, Haley said that she does plan to stay until after at least a dozen plus primaries and caucuses happening next month and on Super Tuesday. Many lawmakers claim Haley is taking donors away from the former president. But even staunch Trump supporters like Congressman Ralph Norman say Haley dropping out now would be a disservice to those who have funded her campaign. She's uh, gotten past 12 other uh, candidates. There's two people left in this race to lead this country. And she just, she, it's not fair to her donors to get out. He, what gets most people uh, to get out of elections, one, their money dries up, and two, the support dries up. She's building. Meantime, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is pushing Haley to get out and throw her support behind Trump like he has. Former presidential candidate and lone black Republican in the Senate will be on stage with Trump at a rally tonight in Rock Hill. Scott has been floated as a possible vice presidential pick and says Haley needs to get out for the good of the country. Lately, her campaign has been descending, honestly. It's, it's desperation that you feel coming from her camp. And when you feel that type of desperation, that means the race is already over and the lead leading person, Nikki Haley herself, has to come to realization. She has to realize that this race is over. It is best for the country, not just a party. It is best for America that we focus on Joe Biden. 
So as far as the numbers go, Trump is certainly looking well established at this hour to walk out of the Palmetto State with a win. That new Emerson College poll that came out this week shows the former president with a 23 point lead over Haley, 58 to 35 percent. Seven percent are undecided. Accounting for undecided voters support, Trump's number increases to 61 percent and Haley's to 39.